Hey, this is a 50 amp generator inlet box. Let's wire it up. Loosen this screw here and this cover will slide and then you can fold it away. All right, here's our six gauge THHN wire for these three, eight gauge on the ground. The easiest to hook up is the ground going right in the top corner. You want to make sure you have about six inches of wire in this box. Got a little bit much right now. This is stripped to about seven sixteenths of an inch. That seems to work just fine. Of course, this bonding terminal here has a ground wire going all the way into the inlet box, so you don't have to worry about moving the ground up to here. And if you'll look at the rest of this, it's really easy. It's almost foolproof. You got red wire, red circle, white wire, white circle, and black to black. And when these come, these terminal clamps will be fully closed like that. And you will want to turn those counterclockwise, to open those up. Now you can land your wires. These are stripped to about a half inch. That means it can go all the way in there without dead landing on the insulation. Push it in there till it stops. That terminal screw fell out. There we go. Now the black. All the connections are made. The hard part is getting this box to close back up with this wire. But usually you have to kind of force this bend into it whether you aim for that corner or you aim for that corner this one has the least amount of obstacles in it but with some persuasion you can do it looks like i still have a little bit too much wire inside this box just gotta keep working it that's really the only downside to a 50 amp box this wire is not very flexible and the box isn't very big Normally, what you would have to do, if you can't close the gap, you might have to cut an inch or so off that wire. As you can see right now, I barely have about five inches in there. Oh yeah, you just got to get rough. This is almost a two hand job. Someone can hold the cover on and someone else can set the cover screw. And there you go. Successfully wired generator inlet box. 
This video assumes that you've got the box mounted and the wire already run up to code. This is just sitting on the table for training purposes.